Rumble fans, I'm Jason, it is the 1st of November 2017 and you are watching Comic Book Weekly. Why? Because it's the best day of the week, new comic book day. A brand new haul of comics from my beautiful comic, uh, local comic shop. Um, 21 books picked up today, a lot again. The, the thing is, you know, back in August I remember looking ahead to October, November and my pool list got shorter, and like, I'm looking at the comics I'd be picking up, I thought, oh, God, this looks quite good. Like, it's, I love my comics, but, you know, I, I, I would prefer them to be less than 20 every week. Um, I've always said, like, 15, 16, somewhere around there is that magic spot for me. If I get that many a week, I can get through them all. Anything over that, I kind of struggle to get through them all a week, in a week. So... I, you know, that would be perfect, but like, and that was what it was looking like back in August, and then you get to the, the, that month, and I'm like, what happened to the shorter weeks, you know, I'm getting like, all through October, I think I've had 20 books, every, over 20 books every week, um, it's ridiculous, uh, and I don't know, is it me just adding books to my pool list, or is it the comic companies who seem to be bringing out more and more books, and surely that's like a false economy, because like, if you've got a limited audience uh, uh, that, that uh, are going to buy the books and you're bringing more and more and you're taking more and more away from that that audience, are the, like, who's buying what? Can you get more diluted? And is it going to be trickier for some of the smaller named books or smaller named characters where there might be writers with interesting stories to tell with those characters, but because there's so many out, it's going to be harder for those books to get an audience because there's just so much out there already. And it feels like that. Because it's not like, yeah, Marvel and DC, they bring out an ungodly amount, but Image are bringing out more and more. I, I seem to be seeing um, a, a load more uh, IDW books out these days. Um, I think Dark Horse seem to be kind of trying to move, because they lost the whole Star Wars franchise, and they've coped with that really well, because it's made them bring out some really good books, and, and it's given a, probably a home to some books that maybe wouldn't have got a home when it was all about Star Wars. Um, so yeah, all the companies, except for Valiant, to be fair, and one of the reasons I love Valiant and I try to buy every one of their books, apart from the fact that I really like their books, um, well, everything except Quantum and Woody, I can't stand Quantum and Woody, but, um, we, you know, they still stick to, like, the most books they bring in a month is 10, and, um, the, their story arcs are only four issues long, it's just really nice, I like how they do it. You know, um, you know, and they could easily because they've been quite successful and they seem to be getting more of an audience with, with things coming out and they could easily go and, and try and expand their market share. But they don't. They stick to that. And I like that, you know, um, and it's a shame some of these other companies, because like I remember Image, a number one from Image used to be a big deal. And now it doesn't seem to be a big deal because they have like every week there's a couple of number ones from Image. And it doesn't seem to be the event, a big event it was because before there was a smaller number of image books coming out. Now there's more. And it seems to be way before there were fewer, but there were better quality. Now there's more. And anytime you increase something, it's going to be difficult to retain that quality. The greater and the bigger the number increases to, it's going to be difficult with something creative like, well, like comic books to kind of retain that, that quality throughout. And also to find an audience for everybody because you've got so many things coming out. Anyway. Enough of me yammering on about the state of comics. Um, I love my comics, and that's why I buy them. So, uh, we're going to kick things off. We're going to go through the, the books I've picked up today. We're going to start off with the indies. We have, uh, speaking of image, uh, we have Extremity, issue number eight. Um, I've really been in love in this book. Um, the end of the first arc, which would have been the first volume that you can now get in trade, uh, it really changed the direction a bit, because, like, when the book started, it was all about this family trying to get revenge. And then kind of like at the end of that, the family had become splintered. And like the son and the daughter are on their own adventure now. While the father is still just kind of, he's just, he's just, he's just so focused on revenge that he's just lost sight of everything else. And uh, so yeah, I've really been enjoying this book. And so I'm looking forward to getting into that. Next up, we have Lazarus X Plus 66, issue number four. Uh, this is four of six. I've loved these covers. 
Um, one of the things I like, you know, about some of the covers they do um, at Image is they're a bit, I don't know if the word would be minim minimalistic. Um, it's like you, you just have like a background cover here, the logo and two characters. Um, but I find that often is so striking and, 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 and it stands out more on the shelf to me. Uh, because sometimes I think some of the some of the covers, especially for Marvel and DC, are quite cluttered and there's too much going on. And I, I kind of think sometimes so when they go for this more minimalistic approach, um, I know I'm not saying that word right. Um, when they go for this kind of approach, I think it actually ends up being more striking and, and can get your attention a lot more. So I'm liking this. I'm way behind on this. I think I'm, I've got the last one or maybe two issues of the first run of Lazarus to finish. Then I can dive onto this series, but I've 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 enjoyed this all the way. So I don't know why I wouldn't enjoy this as it's written by the same dude. Uh, we then have Paper Girls seventeen. I've still got the last issue to read. Again, look more, much more uh, quite a simple kind of approach to the cover. It seems to be the way of image, uh, but I, like I say, it just really works for me. Uh, I like that. It's quite striking, and this has been a really good series. Really enjoyed this. We then now, from Titan Comics, we have Doctor Who. Um, this is the last issue of The Lost, the Lost Dimension. So everything will kind of come together in this issue. Um, uh, it's got there, you've got Omega. That's, that's, and it's the final part there with the counter of that one. Uh, the issue before that, though, this is the penultimate one. So they brought the last two parts of The Lost Dimension out on the same week. Uh, this, I, I gather, this issue is going to tie together the other stories that we've been seeing and then it's going to finish it up in that one so yeah looking forward to that i've been enjoying the last direct last dimension I, I like that rather than like recent years every year the stories they've done i've always been like all the doctors together straight away and what i liked about the, what they've done this year is like they're each separate stories with a common thread running through them that's going to connect the stories at the end so i like that Jumping over to DC now, we have Batman issue number 34, which I'm way behind on this, but I've heard nothing but good things, and Tom King is just a top, top writer, so uh, no doubt they wouldn't. We've got Batman White Knight issue number two, really loved the first issue, really enjoyed it. Initially, it was a book I wasn't going to pick up because there's just so much Batman out right now, and I, I kind of wasn't really hungry for any more, but then I heard the premise, and I was like, hmm, color me intrigued, and then I found out who wrote it and drew it, that Sean Murphy doing everything. I'm always fascinated by books when the um, the writer and artist is the same person, because it's like, no matter how good you communicate things, when you have that single vision, I, I think there's positive and negatives to it, you know? Um, but it, I find it always really fascinating when somebody can realize that vision of the writing and the, the, and, and the art is one thing, so. That, that intrigued me, uh, plus I love Sean Murphy's art. I don't think I've ever read anything he's written before. Um, I've only ever read stuff that he's done the art for, so I was intrigued to see what he was going to be like as a writer. Uh, but the premise of the book was brilliant, and so I'm looking forward to getting into this. Definitely. Uh, we then have Green Hour, issue number 34. This has moved up a dollar in price because it's moving to a monthly title, which I'm a bit gutted about. But, you know, the, the thing is, those... The books that they've got that come out twice a month, it is tricky keeping up with them all because it's a you know you you, you it's very easy with them books. I've found with a couple of them to get behind because you know you 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 don't read them for a month and then it starts mounting up. Uh, so it's very easy to get behind. But I've been enjoying Green Hour. Green Hour has been great, and I kind of look at the books that I like twice monthly, and this would have been. Plus, I'm a bit biased because it's my favourite character, but I would this would have been much lower on the list of books that, to change to monthly because I think it's been consistently good. Uh, but I don't know if it's something to do with the numbers that it's selling and that it's considered, yeah, we'll make this monthly. I don't know what that is, but I don't know to see why they've made the decision. But um, I've been enjoying this. This issue from the cover, it looks like we've got an issue with Shadow. Uh, so that should be interesting. And uh, I'm really... I'm curious to see what's going to happen next to Harley, Ali now, um, because I think his trial's going to start, and I think the last issue they did, because I read of this, I think, was, yeah, was last, like the last issue came out two weeks ago, um, he's not going to, he the lady that he's accused of killing is alive, but they can't get her to testify, 
because the people that killed her will be after her and she's terrified of them so they can't tell people that she's alive so basically Ollie is still on trial for this woman's murder even though she isn't dead uh, so it's going to be very interesting how that's all going to work out we then have Green Lanterns issue 34 which is a book I'm way behind on this is a book that I would actually have thought they'd have gone monthly on but I don't know again I don't know maybe it's the sales of the We've got Justice League issue 32, which is part two of Bats Out of Hell, uh, which is um, a metal tie-in. I enjoyed the first issue of this. But that which book, I think it was The Flash, last week's Flash. They had part one of this in, which I, I enjoyed. Um, it was a good story. And uh, I'm definitely intrigued to see where we're going to go next because they've kind of isolated the members of the Justice League and they've put them each in like a bat cave that is kind of suited to kind of take them down so it's going to be very interesting to see how our heroes are going to get out of this we then have batman the devastator issue number one this is a one shot a tie-in introduce i think this is the last batman they've got no there's the batman who laughs they've got to introduce him yet but this is the the batman that has been injected with the doomsday virus so i'm looking forward to seeing how this comes about um i really enjoyed last week i feel these i've got better and better i i've loved i've been loving these uh one shots and they've been a lot of fun and uh last week's which i can't remember what what that one was called no was it the merciless i think it might have been the merciless um that was really good and the twist at the end i just did not see coming uh but this one i'm looking forward to getting into again uh why would batman inject himself with the doomsday virus mm -hmm. we then have nightwing um issue number 32 um, which I've got to catch up with this, so, but I've been enjoying me, me some Nightwing. We then have Superman issue number 34, another one I'm behind on that I've got to catch up with. You get a theme here. We have Astonishing X Men issue number 5, which I've been really enjoying. Um, I like the makeup of this team, so I'm really um, interested to see how it's all going to work out with this team. Um, I'm trying to find the, the page with the team on it. Oh, God, they haven't got one. Oh. They've just got like that that page. Usually they have a page with the team all on it. Uh, it's funny how come some of the Marvel books have um, the legacy thing on it and some don't. Uh, because there's been other astonishing X Men, hasn't there? So shouldn't this be with like the legacy numbering? Um, or is it this going to get to a certain issue? Then it's going to jump over the legacy. I don't know. But yet they've had a, previously they've had astonishing X Men, so surely that should be part of the legacy thing. Uh, Speaking of Legacy, we have Avengers, uh, that's in the le Legacy. I love this, seeing the members of the team there, that is brilliant, I love that. Um, I'm not a biggest fan of the High Evolutionary, but yeah, I'll keep an open mind. Um, this is one of the books I'm excited. Usually, when it's a Green Hour week, Green Hour will be the first book I read, but this may be the first book I read. One of my favourite creative teams, Mark Wade and Chris Samney, joining together again, this time to bring us Captain America. For Captain America for the Mighty Shield. Uh, yeah, sorry, that's enough singing. <laughs> but yeah, I love Cap Captain America is one of my favourite characters, and I just I love Sam Lee's art. So to kind of sit through an issue of him drawing the art, but he's also such a great storyteller with his art. And then Wade's writing, they just go together so perfectly. You can tell they've worked together long enough now. They've built up this trust, and I'm sure. Wade gives him a lot of leeway on what he can do because he knows what Sam Lee can do. But I love this creative team and I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with Captain America. Because I, I really love their Daredevil run. I really loved um, the Black Widow run. So I'm excited for that. Next up, we have Iron Fist, issue number 74. Um, which I'm super, super enjoyed. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I don't think super is the right word. Um, I enjoyed the last issue. I think it had a lot of good things in it. Um, I'm not quite sure about Sabretooth. Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely intrigued and I'm liking the direction of the book. It, it reminds me of, like, an 80s kung fu movie, which is all good. We then have Old Man Logan, issue 30, which I'm way behind on. Uh, we have the Spe Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 6, which I think this is going over to legacy numbering. But just not yet. Uh, we have Spider-Man, issue number 234. Like, it's like, what? Um, our Miles Morales Spider-Man. Um, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what how he comes by this outfit. 
Um, and I, I'm really liking some of the themes that kind of Bendis is tackling. Um, I love Yankee as a character, and I just kind of love some of the issues that he's brought up to Miles lately. I'm like, why are you Spider-Man? You know, why aren't you a, your own hero? So I'm really interested in where they're going to go with this. And finally, we have Star Wars Darth Vader, which I'm sure I'm one behind on this. The last one I read, um, with Vader killed the Jedi um, and got the lightsaber, that was the last one I read. I'm kind of thinking that I may be more behind than I thought. I'm going to have to find the issues out of this. I've got them somewhere. I must have. But I, ca I can't recall reading this recently. So, yeah. Those are my books there. Um, another great week. Um, I shall now go and upload this video and start, start reading these comics. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you all have a great week. Filled, jam-packed, filled with comic book goodness. And I will see you again soon. Keep reading. Bye for now.